Tonight for dinner, we're making ground beef, enchiladas, Mexican rice, and refried beans. In my pan, I have a half a cup of oil, and I'm using it to fry up 18 corn tortillas. I don't want to fry them crisp. I just want to fry them so they get somewhat pliable, draining off any excess oil. I'm just gonna continue to fry these up. I'm making some homemade enchilada sauce. You will need about a fourth a cup of oil, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a fourth a cup of flour, two tablespoons. I have the Guajillo chili. You could use the California chili, the New Mexico chili, whatever you got on hand. A tablespoon of cumin, a pinch of cayenne, two nor chicken cubes, eight ounces tomato sauce, and four cups chicken broth. Now that you've fried up all of the corn tortillas, you should have about a fourth a cup of oil left. And if you don't, you can always add a little bit. We're gonna add the flour. I'm gonna start adding all of the different spices. And we're going to cook this for about a minute. You want to stir it because you don't want those spices to burn. I'm going to add the tomato sauce. And then finally I'm going to add the chicken broth. I'm gonna keep stirring this until it comes to a simmer. And then I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. It's come to a nice simmer. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low and we'll continue to cook this for 15, 20 minutes and we'll stir frequently. In my pan, I put a tablespoon of oil, a half of a diced onion, four ounces of Ortega chilies and two cloves of garlic and I cooked it until it was uh, translucent. I added a pound and a half of ground beef and I'm just gonna get this browned up. I added some taco seasoning and about a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna let this simmer on low for maybe 20 minutes. Our sauce came out beautifully. I've went ahead and I've put a little bit in the bottom of two 11 by seven pans. I also like to spread out a piece of foil on the counter and then just make like a little uh, workstation here. It helps the tortillas cool down so it's easier to roll. I added just a little bit of cheese and now I'm just gonna add some of our ground beef mixture to each of the tortillas. Now that I have the ground beef evenly distributed amongst the 18 corn tortillas. I'm just gonna roll it up and place them in our baking dish. Now I used a seasoning packet for the taco seasoning today. I'm trying to use up what I have on hand, but I'll put a recipe in the description box of a homemade taco seasoning if you prefer to make it from scratch. I'll also put in the description box 
um, a link to my cheese the enchilada recipe uh, because when I posted that video I also showed you guys how to make re the refried beans and the Mexican rice at least until I can get a dedicated video uh, posted for you guys and then I'll just uh, time stamp it so you don't have to waste your time you can just I'll put it a timestamp for when I start uh, making the beans and a timestamp for when I start making the rice. So it'll save you guys from having to watch through the whole video. All right, I'm just gonna get the rest of these rolled, put in the bacon dish, and I'll be right back. Someone might ask, I just thought of this. <laughs> Someone might ask, why are you using 11 by seven baking dishes instead of like a 13 by nine? You can use a 13 by nine, that's fine. I do that uh, sometimes, but I do have uh, these 11 by sevens and the enchiladas just fit in them perfectly. So there's no reason you couldn't use a 13 by nine. I did that many a times before I even had these. <laughs> it worked out good. All right, be right back. That's what your 11 by sevens will look like. If you use a 13 by nine, you'll have to stuff some on the side. I've done that before. I'm gonna get some cheddar cheese and uh, top the enchiladas before I put the sauce on. Now I'm just gonna take the enchilada sauce and drizzle it on top. I like putting the cheese underneath the enchilada sauce because it seems like it protects it a little bit and it still gets really melted and gooey. Now these are probably more an American <laughs> uh, enchilada than a real true authentic um, enchilada and that's okay. I find by making the homemade sauce you do get a lot of those really good flavors and this is just a quick and easy you know, weeknight dinner. All right, let me get the sauce on. I have my oven preheating to 350. And these are just going to go straight in there. And you just cook it long enough that it gets a little bit bubbly and the cheese is melted. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. I need to get my rubber spatula. Get the rest of that sauce out of there. The pound and a half of ground beef, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you couldn't even tell that there was onions and the garlic or the green uh, chilies. You could use fresh a fresh poblano chili and char it on the stove and then take the skin off and use that. Or you could use like a four ounce can if you're just like in a big hurry of a diced Ortega chilies. And that's what I did tonight. All right. That's looking really good. These are just very simple ground beef enchiladas. That's all I wanna say. <laughs> Keep it simple. All right, let me get these into the 350 degree oven for 15, 20 minutes, and I'll show you what they look like when they're heated up. The enchiladas just came out of the oven. I'm gonna let them sit for about five minutes and then we'll serve them up. The one thing I wanted to say is both the uh, rice, the beans, and these enchiladas heat up really well. And when I go to put the leftovers away, I like to use the meal prep containers. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These are some meal prep containers. I got them from Amazon. They are reusable and I find they last about a year, year and a half. I just wash them by hand. I'll put like some rice and beans and the enchilada in here and it has a top on it. So I'll, when I go to put the leftovers away in the fridge, I just make these little meals and they heat up beautifully um, in the microwave. So a lot of times like the kids are starting back to school, um, they'll take these for the lunches and that'll save some money. We all wanna save money. <laughs> But yeah, I love these. That's how I store my leftovers. 
from dinner as I just transform them into these little meal prep containers. Otherwise, it's like you kind of like if you put something like mashed potatoes in one dish and gravy in another and roast in another, they might pick, you know, the roast beef or whatever and eat that and the mashed potatoes just sit there. But I found if, if you actually make them into like a, a meal, I don't have a lot of waste. Okay, just thought I'd say that, you guys. Here's my plate. I'm going in. Mm -hmm.